Elena here. Just got home from the CHFA Expo West Health and Wellness Show where I've spent all day snacking and sampling on different products and I'm just buzzing with energy from all the good food that I've been eating so far. And uh, yesterday was the first day of it. It started as a conference day where you had more education in class time, learning from industry leaders and nutritionists and product reps about different products that are out there, which I'll get to in a second. But the person that I got the most excited to see today was the legendary Dr. Terry Willard. He is the guy who made the Wild Rose Herbal Detox Kit, which I was blogging about and put up videos about. And uh, this is the new look of their product. If you haven't tried a cleanse or a detox before, I've highly recommended this in the past and I will continue to do so because this is a 12 day cleanse where you can eat a lot of different foods, comes with a recipe book. In this case I got some digestive enzymes which I'm definitely going to need after all the snacking that I've been doing all day today. But um, this guy is just an absolute wealth of knowledge, he's really really humble and he's got a holistic clinic and, um, and a college that he runs. Uh, in Alberta so definitely something to look into if you've never cleansed before if you have and you want to you know try a, a detox kit that is very comprehensive that targets things like your kidney your liver your lymphatic system that is definitely the product to go with so Wild Rose Herbal Detox gets a two thumbs up from me always and uh, one of the people that I was really excited to see talking yesterday actually was Peggy Katsopoulos. This is her new book. It's called Must Have Been Something I Ate and she is one of the most enthusiastic people in the health and wellness industry, I think. She actually appears on the CBC regularly on their daytime talk show and this book is full of really nutritious recipes and what I like about her is not only is she really pretty and uh, she's really enthusiastic but she really knows her stuff and yesterday she was talking about whole food energy and basically categorized uh, the levels of energy they get from different uh, whole foods. At the bottom of that list was, um, was leafy greens, then after that came sprouts and sea vegetables, and then finally she got to chlorella, which is a product that apparently she's been using for a long time, which she says is where she gets all of her energy. And after hearing her talk, she was so contagious, I definitely want to try this stuff for myself. So definitely something worth looking into. Another book that I got today was from Ann Barnes and uh, I was immediately attracted to her because she was at the show wearing a t-shirt that said I'm raw on it which I thought was really rad because I love the raw food diet and uh, had basically started to talk to her and found out that she is um, the proud formulator of Mom's Original uh, Chia Seed products. Uh, she has other products as well but this is a sample that I took and this is ground chia seeds and if you've never heard of chia seeds before they are literally the breakfast that makes itself so for anybody who's ever said I don't have time in the morning to make breakfast this is basically going to give you absolutely no excuse to do that because if you put chia seeds into a bowl they just basically expand on their own when you add liquid to them so you could set it aside in five to ten minutes you've got yourself a breakfast that literally has made itself this is chia goodness from Ruth's brand and this is whole chia seeds, they're pre-flavored, this is a cranberry ginger which I'm really excited to try and uh, and again when I had 30 seconds to run out the door, had no time to make breakfast I literally just added this stuff to a bowl or a container, put the lid on, took it to go with me by the time that I got to work it was already ready, it took me just a couple minutes to um, to mow it down and this is a really good way to get your nutrition first thing in the morning, packs a punch with some good oils and uh, you can eat it warm, you can eat it cold, so this is a raw breakfast and, uh, and definitely filling and will give you lots and lots of energy, especially in the morning. And uh, one of the other breakfast foods that I always enjoyed was the Nature's Path cereal. So I grabbed a couple of granola bars from them, this is maple pecan which I'm going to try. I've tried this one before, Lotta Apricotta, which I think is a really cute name. And uh, they're an industry leader in uh, organic cereals and they're a local company being operated out of uh, Richmond in BC, like family owned company and these guys have actually also uh, teamed up with Mana Bread, which I was really impressed by. This is a carrot raisin bread and uh, one of the things that I always read on the label is not just the nutrition facts where you see all the calories and the sodium and all that kind of stuff, but also the ingredients. And these guys have simplified it to the max. I mean, this thing is made from sprouted organic whole wheat kernels, some filtered water, organic carrots, and some organic raisins. So again, least chemicals possible, really, really organic, basic stuff. That's what you got to get into your body. 
don't get products that have 30 ingredients listed on them because you know you are putting all sorts of things in your body that shouldn't be in there in the first place. That's basically what it comes down to. Simplify, simplify, simplify. That's what the whole food diet is all about. Just get your fruits, your veggies, your whole grains, your organic meats, organic cheeses if you're not a vegan, um, any of that kind of stuff. But basically, simple is the best. Just follow the K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, silly rule. Um, I have actually recently just started to, uh, to do some sprouting and one of the things that I found kind of cool is the Kavina Nuda uh, Rice of the Prairies they call it, which is basically the first of its kind. This is actually oatmeal um, that has all the properties of oats but comes in a rice form. So uh, a local farmer from Manitoba actually made this stuff and um, oatmeal has a lot of nutritional properties and I've you know tried to eat it as part of my dinner before in in a savory form and uh, you know it's kind of a porridge so it's not always the, the most pleasant consistency I guess and this stuff makes it a lot more more pleasant to to basically ingest because it just looks basically like a rice so not only am I excited to try it in its cooked form but I will also probably be trying to sprout it and I'll let you guys know how that goes. I also picked up um, some vegan proteins plus and one of the things that I've been seeing a lot uh, at the show today this was my first health and wellness show and before going there I actually thought that it was going to be full of all these like big protein muscle building carotene kind of products you know for people who are muscle builders and and weightlifters and things like that but it actually wasn't like that at all I was really really happy to see that the industry is actually full of a lot of good folks who are providing non-GMO organic local dairy free gluten free wheat free uh, products that are really suitable for for people who are you know basically experiencing food sensitivities and for anybody who's health conscious because we are starting to realize that a lot of the stuff in the food industry is not that good for you and these are guys that are focused on cleaning up food as much as possible giving you as many uh, nutrients in your food as they can and basically just keeping it clean so if you wanna you know improve your diet these are the kind of products that you should start uh, taking a look at now uh, this product actually uh, was really interesting because this is the first flavor I've ever tried of chocolate that comes in a bitter chili flavor and this was really cool you can't taste the chili right away but it does get to you in about 10 to 20 seconds it packs a nice punch it's not too spicy or anything definitely something innovative and different and this is the first time I'm ever going to try organic raw honey and I've heard tons of good things about this and I'm actually looking forward to trying to trying a sample of this Another thing that I've noticed is the rise of the coconut and I am so excited to see this. Uh, you should read, if you can, my article called All About Coconuts because I talk about the health benefits of coconuts and different ways to use them and how to determine what a really good coconut oil is to go for and one of the brands that I talk about there is the Nativa brand and these guys gave me a really awesome sample of their coconut oil which is organic it's extra virgin, it is cold pressed, and uh, I use this stuff not only in the kitchen, but on my skin as well. So it goes from the kitchen to the bathroom, then back to the kitchen. Because I put it on my body, I put it on my face, I put it in my hair, it's really, really good for that. And also Coconut Mana, this is one of their products that has not only coconut oil in it, but it's got the pulp in it as well, so I've been putting it into cereals, I've been putting it on my salad, and, and lots of different uses for that as well. Really, really tasty. If you open up the package, one of the ways to tell that a coconut oil has not been bleached or deodorized is it should smell like coconuts and this stuff smells delicious so that's how you know it's good all right that just about wraps it up uh if i continue to talk about this stuff i'm going to be talking all night so i'm just gonna shut off the camera now but i wanted to thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed some of the products that i've highlighted here i'm going to put up some links of the stuff that i've been talking about and basically giving you some of my feedback on the products that i've tried and also as always i love to hear from people about what they have tried that really works for them and uh, if you have any comments questions your stories whatever it is uh, basically get in touch with me at levitaprana at gmail.com also you can check out my youtube uh, videos at La Vida Prana and uh, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you for watching and enjoy the blog